So check me out. This video topic is don't save her. She don't want to be saved. All right. I got that verse from J. Cole. Okay. I was listening to a song earlier. Actually, fuck listening. I've been thinking about this song, right? And um, I heard this song like a long time ago. It was like probably like five, six years ago when he dropped the song. And in the song, he was like, don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Right? Now, I cannot directly tell you what the name of the song was. I think it was called No Role Models, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, but what I'll do is I'm going to put the link of the song in the description, but I'm pretty sure you could just find it by typing in that particular verse because it's very popular. Like, this shit still plays on the radio to this day. So understand, the reason I'm talking about this is because a lot of guys in today's society, right, um, they try to go out of their way to save or change a hoe. And um, the reason most men do this is because they don't understand and know female nature, okay? At some point in time, uh, you may have been an individual who tried to save a hoe, okay? Listen, in this life, you came here to learn, unlearn, and relearn. So it's not your fault that you don't know this information because believe it or not um coming into this world or realm out the womb portal the pussy um you have been conditioned to believe certain things okay when you came out of this womb when you came out the womb portal when you were born you were automatically blue pill you feel me you was automatically blue pilled okay a lot of the shows and TVs that you may have seen, the movies, it always showed like the hero saving the woman. Shit, y'all know Mario? When Peach be like, Mario! What do he do? He saves her. Okay, he saves her. All right, now listen, let me tell you something. There is subliminals in Mario, okay? It's a message behind that shit. It's not what you think it is. It's not just, oh, da 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 Nah, man. It's far from that. You feel me? So check me out. Have you guys ever noticed that Peach, she always somehow gets caught or captured by Bowser instead of staying the hell out of the way? And then you got an individual, right? Like Mario, who comes save her. It seemed like Peach always gets caught. No matter what the situation is, Peach, somehow, someway, Bowser comes scoop that hoe. Now, why is that? Now, I know a lot of you guys who are 3D gonna say, oh, it's just a video game. Nah, it's actually a message behind that, a deeper message, okay? So check me out. In Mario, right, understand that Bowser is the bad guy. Mario is the good guy. Okay? Now, why is it that Peach, she's always getting caught by the bad guy? It seems like she can never stop getting caught by Bowser, the bad guy. Then you got the good, the good guy, which will be Mario, who always come to save this hoe. I'm talking about it's inevitable. That nigga always come save her. Now the question we all gotta ask is why is that happening? Understand and understand how these women think. The woman, especially in this day and age, she wants the bad boy. She wants the street nigga, okay? She wants the dangerous looking motherfucker, right? Real shit, she wants the dangerous motherfucker. She don't want the good guy, which would be Mario, which would be most men in this society all right so believe it or not they are pushing a message to you subliminal subliminally to save these hoes <sighs> off a video game it didn't hit me to just now but subliminally they are showing you 
and putting this imagery in your head that you're supposed to save a hoe. No. It's a reason why Peach keep getting caught. It's a reason why Peach keep getting caught by Bowser. It's a reason behind that. And then here come Mario coming to save that hoe. Here come Mario. And he do it every time. And guess what? Nothing changes. She still goes back to what? The bad guy. So, I hope y'all fully understand. When you come into this world, this realm or world, you automatically are programmed to chase and validate and pedestalize and save these hoes, bro. When you don't understand that women don't want to be saved, bro. They don't want to be saved, bro. They, you have no idea. They do not want to be saved, okay? Listen, if she a hoe, that's what she gonna be. You cannot change or save a hoe, bro. And you feel me? You gotta understand, I seen this shit my whole life. I done seen niggas go crazy over a hoe. But they don't even know that this bitch is a hoe. They don't even know. So they is going crazy. Y'all done seen men in y'all life growing up probably put y'all hands on a woman all because he trying to control what this hoe is doing now he risking his let me make one pause right quick anyways i'm back quick at it but like i'm saying now this nigga is risking his freedom trying to control and save a hoe trying to be lovey-dovey with a hoe trying to save her trying to make her be loyal to him right that's how it is. It's not the men fault. It's society's fault. That's why you gotta learn, bro. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't learn, but shit, if you learn, good shit, no matter how old you are. It's never too late to learn about these women, man. It's best that you learn about them while you're young so you don't get into some difficult and, um, difficult and sticky situations at a young age that can fuck your life up, you feel me? I'm telling you, a lot of you guys have seen men um, put their hands on a woman just for the sheer fact that they trying to control and save a hoe when you they don't even know that they cannot save a hoe you cannot fall in love with these hoes man you need to fall in love with yourself you need to fall in love with the most high fuck these hoes now once you understand and fully understand that don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. She don't want to be saved, G. So, you as a man, right? Understand and overstand that you cannot control what a hoe do at the end of the day. Understand it's a reason they call her a hoe, okay? H O E. She for the streets. All right? So you cannot go out your way to save a hoe, bro. She don't want to be saved. She love horn. She love getting fucked every week, bro, by multiple niggas. She love taking cum shots to the face and swallowing cum all day. That's what she love. She loves throwing and devaluing herself. That's what she love to do. So you cannot save these hoes, man. I'm telling you, I'm putting y'all on game because... It's let me make one pause right here because it's yeah. Anyways, I'm back. But like I'm saying, bro, it's some goofy ass nigga right now who in a relationship with a hoe and he don't even know that she's a hoe. But her actions is showing that she's a hoe, she for the streets. So this nigga is losing his mind arguing with this hoe. Why are you talking to him? Fuck! Damn it! I wish you would just stop doing that shit. Da -da -da -da. He's losing his mind right now. He's going crazy over a hole. It's a reason she's called a hole. She for the streets, bruh. And when you do that, you make it worse. One, you look feminine, you look bitch made. Three, you you this you're getting out of character, bro. When this shit could save you so much time when you realize and understand she's a whole. All right, a lot of y'all have fell in love with a skis and this bitch was like manipulating you, controlling you and shit, right? 
and I'm not trying to bash you because, like, at the end of the day, shit happens in this life. All right? I'm not saying, like, oh, feel the shame because this shit happens because you don't know. But listen, y'all be falling in love with these hoes, man, and you don't even know that they hoes, and you wondering why they do the things that they do. You feel me? She don't want to be saved, bruh. My bad, I'm turning the speaker off. But she don't want to be saved, and you can't save her, bro. If it's in her DNA to be a slut for the streets, that's what she gonna do, G. Unfortunately, in the end, the bitch gonna die alone nine times out of ten. And that's the truth. All right, these, these bitches who think it's okay to get fucked by 30 niggas, 100 niggas in high school, whatever the fuck. When you hit by 30 and you really want to settle down after you was so good and okay with being a hoe and knowing that everybody know you a hoe, your ass going to be alone, still hoeing, 50, still sucking that dick. <laughs> no, no nigga wants you because your past, you done fucked it up for yourself because you thought it was okay to... Be a hoe. You thought she was like a nigga. No, it ain't like that. And, and bitches will be mad because they want to be like a nigga and do nigga shit, but you ain't no nigga. You feel me? That's what's wrong with you modern hoes. You feel me? You ain't no nigga. You a, a female. You feel me? I was going to say the B word, but shit. Fuck it, bitch. Who gives a fuck? You a female, bitch. So look. Understand and overstand. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved, man. Now look, I'm going to give you some advice if you are the bad guy. Hold on a second. Let me see what's on the lid right now. My bad. Just, you know, dusting my feet off and shit because it's like some little bugs and shit biting us. But check me out. The number one advice I could give you, right, is if you want to deal with a 304, deal with a skis, deal with a hoe, my advice is you get what you need from that hoe and you keep it moving. Like, don't make it a relationship. Don't make it a situationship. Bruh, smash and keep it moving, G. I'm telling you, that's what you got to do. Now, look, as a man, you the prize anyway. You supposed to have multiple holes, so it's not affecting you. It's affecting her because she wanted to be a hoe anyway. And listen, if a hoe try to make you cuff her and not let you fuck like how everybody else fuck oh phew, get rid of that hoe don't even waste your time cuz you know this hoe is letting everybody fuck and the moment she hey 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 the moment she get to you she want to settle down don't be a dummy don't be a fucking fool out here oh she for the streets g she cannot be saved she don't want to be saved anyway she want to be saved when it's too late and nobody cares Cause you don't let everybody fucking nut in that shit. Nut on the ass. Nut in the mouth. Nut on the breast. Nut on the stomach. <laughs> These bitches is dirty, whoa. Now, I'm not saying I don't love a nasty hoe. <laughs> let me repeat that. I'm not saying I don't love a nasty hoe, right? But hold on. I don't love a street hoe. A hoe that's for the streets. I don't love a 304. I don't love a skeezer. I love a bitch that's... Not for the streets, but she's a fucking demon in the sheets. <laughs> That's what I like. I don't want a bitch who showing her demonic side to every nigga. Hell nah, bitch. You got me fucked up. You feel me? At this point, as a man, right? You shouldn't even want a female who... For the streets like you should want a female that's gonna add value to your life a bitch who from the streets can't add no type of value to your life all she could do is suck you dry and keep it moving and you'll keep it moving which is okay but i'm talking about as a man during these times you feel me during these times knowing what day and age we're living in you need to get you a set of good females in your circle you feel me especially if you chose it like Reason I'm saying this is because everybody's fucking everybody. It's the end times, you feel me? So you don't want to be hanging with stupid hoes. You feel me? You want to hang with spiritual hoes, you feel me? I'm telling you because it's going to come upon a time where shit get crucial and these females that y'all be hanging with ain't going to be able to help with nothing. Like, you could be awoke all that. This bitch going to have no clue what to do. If social media come off, this bitch ain't going to have no clue. Um...
she not gonna have no clue what to do in a real life situation because she's a bot, bro. Stop fucking with these bot females, man. You feel me? Y'all gotta stop fucking with these bot ass females, bro. I'm telling you. So listen, bro. Don't save her. She don't wanna be saved. All right, you cannot save a hoe, bro. Do not be Captain Save a hoe. Get a female who just like you, fam. That's all you gotta do. And you don't gotta chase no hoe because you a king, bro. When you chase a hoe, the hoe run away. Like a cat, bro. Y'all ever tried to get a cat? The cat bugging. But when you just focus on some other shit, here the cat come. Meow. Right? That's how these women is. Women is like cats you be seeing in pet stores or on the streets, bro. Stop chasing these hoes, man. Stop trying to save these hoes, man. Saving a hoe ain't gonna do shit but make a hoe disrespect you. It's gonna make a hoe see you as beta because you gotta understand. Once you know she a hoe, if you still treat her like she a queen or some shit, it's over with. Everybody around you gonna look at you stupid. If you let a hoe try to play you or disrespect you, try to size your shit like you a goofy around this hoe, everybody around you ain't gonna respect you, bro. You gotta understand, when you masculine in this society, people are going to test your masculinity on every level. And you cannot show, you cannot show no emotional vulnerability, you feel me? You cannot show that you're a beta simp because listen, in this life, once someone, once a female sees you as beta, it's kind of like no, no going back or coming back from that. All right, but it's okay. You a man, you gonna get more holes and better holes as you self improve. All right, but listen, bro, you cannot save these holes, man. If you an individual who trying to save or change a hole, <clears throat> you need to get a hole who can think. You need to get a hole who can think for herself. You gotta get a hole who already with what you want before you meet her. So you ain't gotta save none of that. She already like you. She bout what you bout. You feel me? That's why I'm telling you. You don't have to chase a hoe because the hoe that you want is going to come your way once you get yourself together. You feel me? Together. Once you get yourself together in this life and you really focus on you because listen, you are a rock, bro. With or without a bitch, you gonna keep going and you gonna keep going anyway. You gonna keep moving forward anyway. All right? That's how important you are as a man and powerful you truly are. You gonna keep growing and elevating anyway. You are a builder. Men, our greatest power is be my bad. Our greatest power is building and creating. Women don't create shit. Women is they can. I'm not trying to devalue women, but I'm telling you the truth. They don't have the power like we do. They don't have the masculine energy, okay? They are feminine. Now can can a woman build something and be independent? Yes. I'm not saying that, but I'm telling you for the most part, you're designed to constantly move forward and build and create shit. Okay, nigga? So understand, the more that you build yourself up, the more that you focus on yourself, bro, the woman that you want, the woman that's desiring a man just like you, because you got to understand, the women you want, she's desiring a man just like you. Like, you feel me? You got to understand. The women that you want to come into your life is looking for a man just like you. That's how this shit is. Everything is energy. Law of attraction. So if you a spiritual nigga like me, you meditate, you ground yourself, um, you in nature, you sun gaze, you eat healthy, you vegan. Bruh, the energy that you are putting out there or emitting from your aura, females that's just like you is going to come your way and seek you, okay? Because you feel me? A real spiritual woman don't want no nigga who don't know what's going on now. Some of these bitches be going out their way sometimes. You feel me? That's just what it is. But nine times out of ten, they seeking a man who's just like them. Okay? So listen, as a man, you are the prize, bro. You have the power. You hold the power within you. Okay? You are a very powerful spirit. Okay? The divine masculine energy is a motherfucker. Okay? It's only so much divine masculine men left. They trying to kill us off. So look. Like I was saying, man, stop saving these hoes, bro. <laughs> Stop saving these hoes I'm telling you right now She don't want to be saved man And she can't be saved 
can't be saved, man. J. Cole tried to warn us at a young age, but we ain't understand until it was too late. Some of us. Most of us caught on at a young a young age. You feel me? We was blessed to catch on and learn the information. Some, they never learn, or they learn it kind of like late in the game, where it's like, damn, bro. I done been with so much women and chased and tried to save, and it, it costed and ruined my life doing that. You don't got to save or change no hoe. The hoe you want is already inside of you, bro. Everything you need is inside of you. The women you're seeking, the women you want. They already gonna come your way. It's just they not gonna come your way, come your way until you ready, bro. So continue to level up, continue to focus on you, man. Listen, women, they're just like cats. They do have a cat in between them legs, ain't it? The pum pum, the pussy. <laughs> They're like cats. So how do you attract the pussy, right? How do you attract women? Um, you don't worry about them and you just focus on you, right? Because you're not worried about them. The individuals who text these women all day, the individuals who worry about what the woman is doing is the individual who ain't getting her nine times out of ten. Real shit, because psychology of a woman is a motherfucker. If you just focus on you and a bitch see that you on your grind and you building something and it's starting to build, she's going to grow more attracted to you more than a nigga who's actually all up in her DMs every single day. That's just real shit. That's just common sense. Okay, would you prefer a bitch who... Well, it's different for a man, but not really. Um, would you prefer a bitch who work out all the time and not focusing on men? She just like you, though. Or would you worry about a bitch who always in your DM, she a fangirl, she don't do shit. She just chasing you all day. It's gonna repel you, cause like, damn, bro, you got no life, you feel me? It's real, you feel me? It's real, so, I'm telling you the truth, bro. I'm telling you the truth. Stop trying to save these hoes, man. Don't save her. She don't wanna be saved. 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 I'm telling you, cuz. Stop saving these hoes, man. Stop trying to save these hoes. And just focus on you and wait for that one woman who actually is seeking a man like you. Because it is women who is seeking a man like me and you. You feel me? Believe it or not, you gotta understand. Me and you, we are the 1% of the world right now. If you practice celibacy, if you are building a business or a brand for yourself, cause you are the 1% of men, you feel me? It's not too many that's gonna really do what we do. So you gotta understand, right now, you already ahead of 95% of niggas in the whole world, okay? You have no idea. You have no idea, boy. You have no idea, you feel me? <laughs> you have no idea So listen You keep doing you You keep leveling up And you let the motherfuckers Who want to chase And Waste their sexual energy And Validate these hoes And be in these hoes DM Trying to link all day Instead of trying to Build their life up Because listen Let me tell you The, dy the dynamics of masculinity And feminine energy Like A man You hold the masculine Like She's designed to please you Her body is designed To please you She's designed to pleasure you and make you feel good with, with everything. Not only just with her body, but with her mind, her voice, her actions, what she does for you. You as a man, you feel me? You need that in your life. However, you don't need it, but you need it as well. You feel me? That's how powerful you is. A woman, though, um, she can be independent, right? But at some point in her life, she needs that man to help balance her out. Okay? I'm telling you. A man, we don't need a woman at all. However, we do need a woman at the same time. We desire a woman, I should say. I don't say, I'm not gonna say we need a woman because I'm gonna tell you right now, a man don't need a woman. A woman needs a man, nine times out of 10. Fuck that, 10 out of 10. Because you as a man, you're a creator, bro. You could build yourself up. A woman, she can too, but man, the, the tenacity of the masculine energy is a motherfucker, bro. 24 minutes. Yeah, bro, that shit real, you feel me? It's real. So listen, bro, as a man, you are a king. You are the prize, bro. And you got to hold yourself to that. Understand and know that you are a divine being. You are 
divine cosmic intelligence in the physical, man. You are a God, bruh. And listen, when you hold yourself like you are a God because you are a God, I'm not just telling this shit just to tickle your ears. I'm telling you who you are. You are a God, bro. A divine masculine man, fam. When you hold yourself to that, I promise you these bitches, bro, as you continue to level up and build yourself up and you create a value system, man, these bitches gonna be all over you, bro, because you hold yourself to a certain standard, you feel me? Everyone cannot fuck you. Everyone does not have access to you. You are financially stable. You know, you have that mindset. You're stoic, you're alpha, you're masculine. You don't chase, you attract. Because as a man, we're supposed to attract women. We're not supposed to chase them, motherfucker. A woman don't want you to chase her. She wants you to continuously chase your grind and purpose while trying to fit, while trying to fit her into your schedule. That's how it's supposed to be. Because a lot of you guys have seen men get into relationships and it's like when they wasn't in a relationship, they was probably um, linking with y'all all day, uh, probably hitting the gym, just that and the third. But then it's like when a man gets into a relationship in this society, it's like he become weak. But let, but let me tell you something about the feminine energy. The feminine energy is supposed to calm you down. That's what she's there for, to keep you at peace, right? She's supposed to keep you at peace with life. That's what I'm telling you as a man, you know, you so aggressive throughout the day. You on your grind and purpose. That's what they love. And their job is kind of to like slow you down, right? Not saying intentionally, but that's how they are. The feminine energy is supposed to support you. But this is why you have to understand and know who you are as a man and understand the dynamics of masculine energy. The relationship that you guys may have been in in the past was fucked up because you didn't know how to play your role as a man. You feel me? If you know how to play your role as a man, the relationship will be good because you understand certain things. You feel me? Like, like I was saying, a lot of men, they, they lose track of what's important in their life. They lose track of their priorities, their grind, and they just start being all up under the female all day. And then the female, she start becoming more masculine than a man, even though he run a relationship, but he doesn't anymore because he's not exuberating the masculine energy when you with the female right word of advice to my kings um i want you to always stay on your ground and purpose no matter what understand and overstand that meditation your mental health your physical health your spiritual health your purpose your grind comes before her at all costs i don't care how good she look i don't give a fuck how long y'all been dating you always got to put her first so for example you lay out your schedule right and then your female may suggest, um, we could do this. You don't got to do this today. Hey, listen, don't listen to what the fuck she say. As a man, you got to stay on your shit regardless, with or without her. That's what she like, because a woman will subconsciously, and she does this unconsciously as well, try to take you off your path. It's just to, it's not her fault either. It's just in her nature to do that. So you got to continuously move forward. You got to continuously building. You got to continuously working on your body and shit. I'm talking about every day, you got to be on your ground and purpose, and then you got to fit a schedule for her and y'all to do something. That's how it's supposed to be, because listen, you a man with the without her, you're going to keep moving forward. That's masculinity for you. I'm telling you, as a man, you powerful as fuck once you know who you is and you understand dynamics of energy, bro, and you actually Im you implicate and use your masculinity to your full potential, you unfuckable in this life. The woman will love you because women love masculinity. A feminine woman, a woman who's feminine loves masculine energy. Every woman loves masculine energy, okay? It turns them on. It's, it's in the DNA. But when you don't incorporate or exube it, exuberate it, that's when it becomes a problem, you feel me? So listen, when you with a female, make sure your priorities is before her and then whatever she trying to do, it come after you do what you do, you feel me? That's what she like, bruh. She gotta get a part of your program. If she not with your program, she gotta go. You feel me? You got things to do as a man, regardless if y'all having sex. Don't let sex stop you from your ground and purpose because I'm telling you, that's how powerful the woman is, man. But you are more powerful because God gave you a sense of will. As a man, you have will, okay? You have will. So a lot of niggas, they, they start getting that pussy and they want to be hmm, 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 because she took your power away, right? 
She took that semen away. Now, I'm not telling you, oh, she's literally taking your power away, but you gotta understand, when you bust that nut for that period of time, you in submit mode. She, you all under her, you, baby, you kissing under the, you not in your masculine. So this is why I'm telling you, you have to learn, you feel me? Because pussy will do that. We all done got some pussy in after we busted that nut, we all up under her and she feels confident and good. That's how it is. It's nothing to be mad or ashamed of, but you still got to have your priorities. Even after you bust that nut, right? Make sure you get on your grind after that. She going to respect you because damn, I done, he done fucking busted a nut and he went and still to the gym. He still took his cold showers. He still worked out that day, right? I'm telling you because that's masculine energy. You got to understand your semen is what makes you, makes you masculine, okay? She doesn't have that. She has sexual energy, which will be called cum, right? But it's not the same as a man. That masculine energy, that semen is a motherfucker. Your semen is who you are. Okay, I'm telling you, your semen is a motherfucker. Why do you think these entities try to steal our energy all the time? You feel me? Why do you think that? Why do you think succubus, incubus spirits be trying to take me and your energy all the time? Because that shit is a motherfucker. Can they get women? But they weren't about that semen. They weren't about that, that God-given energy that the chosen ones have. Everybody don't have the same energy as you, especially during these times. Your, gen your genetics, your DNA is activating. So what that means, everything in your body is changing your cells. So your semen is not like a regular man at this point. You got that potent semen. That semen that's going to bring an angel into this reality. I'm telling you, cuz. That's why you got to be aware. So listen, stay in your masculine frame. No matter what, if y'all have sex, this, that, and the third, understand your purpose come before that hope. Your mental health, your spiritual practices, it come before that hoe because listen if a woman can control you then you cannot control her because the energy switched the energy switched you feel me that's why you got to stay in the masculine you got to always continue to do masculine shit okay in a relationship it's gonna be certain times where you telling her we not fucking today she gonna like that she's going to like that bro i'm telling you whenever she want dig from you da 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 you have to draw the line because it's energies behind that. Femininity is a motherfucker. Masculinity is a motherfucker. You gotta know who you is as a man. You gotta understand your priorities, your goals, all that come before a bitch, bro. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, because once you lay, lay that wood on her, you feel me? A woman is a motherfucker. You gotta understand. Women are more sexual than a man. I'm telling you, the only way you could be more sexual and horny than a woman or as much as a woman is if you beat your meat all day. But once you stop doing that and you get your mind right, you don't even think about sex like that. That's how powerful you is as a man, bro. I'm telling you, the most high made us different, bro. But only a select few of us are real masculine men. Age is not what makes you a man. It's having discipline. It's what you do, your energy. That's what makes you a man. You could be 30, still a kid.